Hello, Brittany, Shana, and all the O'Brien crew. My name's Peter Joseph Ronald Spring, and um, apparently this week I found out I'm an O'Brien. Yet to know who the actual father is. Um, today I was going to do an email, just a bit of an introduction to myself, but probably wouldn't really cover much, you know, really the honest truth of me and my life. So I thought it'd be easier to do a video. Um, and a great description of me would be my latest house I'm in. Um, currently into interior designing, architecture, renovation and lighting and or home automation. So this is my current home we're living in. That's pretty much or probably 80% complete the renovation. I've done all the renovations myself from start to bottom. It was a rental, pretty bad house. Very house commission style. Um, the tenants were in a very good area here, so it made sense to buy this house and um, give it the love it need. I've gone for an architectural, industrial, country, modern feel, if that makes sense. So we'll give you a quick tour, explain a bit about me and what I do, and yeah, hopefully it'll just help everyone try and get to know me since it's been, yeah, a long time, 38 years. So yeah, let's hopefully move forward from this. Okay, let's check it out. This is my daughter's room currently, Lily's room. The old uh, dream catcher theme going on here. Master bedroom. This was currently about half the size. We knocked out two brick walls to lost the hallway to develop this size room we wanted, master king bed. That's Boo, my chihuahua, my best mate. Here we featured a pressed metal ceiling that we've turned into on the wall just for a bit of a different vibe. Um, we lost a bedroom to do this master walk-in and ensuite. Uh, we were willing to lose a bedroom to do um, a nice ensuite and big bedroom. I've got a pretty big shoe collection as you can see, purple. A lot of jewelry and bring, bling. So yeah, we really wanted that big size to compensate for all our stuff we have. This is our master ensuite. Everything's voice controlled through the house, the lighting, automation. We've got underfloor heating, heated towel racks, voice controlled hot water system. All sensors so you get up in the night, walk into the house, come into the bedroom. All the lights randomly come on so you get this soft lighting. This is original brick that I exposed in the bathroom and then done a whole custom frame feature light glass here so that's our big double walk-in shower niche boxes and we'll go and check out the hallway hallway you originally had a brick door here we ripped all that out and I exposed the original brickwork um, and then we done a knocked some of the old original render back here went for a set case bead finish to achieve a picture wall frame kind of effect. And then obviously we've got all the family photos. This is my pride and joy, my 1960 Cadillac. It's me as a baby. Cool stuff, lounge room here. Hey Google, volume to 20%. The whole house is all automation via Google Home. Um, we've got CCTV system. Coloured automation lighting. Hey Google, make the TV light purple. So all the lighting changes, colours, controls, we can do music effects, dance mode, party mode, all that. Um, all the lighting I can control anywhere in the world, so basically turn lighting on, air conditioning on and off from anywhere. This is Bella, my new partner's dog, Kiki's dog. She's moved into the house, but her and Boo don't get along, so we have to keep them separated for now. This is our kitchen. Hand built this kitchen myself. Knocked the wall out. This is all recycled materials from the house. All custom hand built timber. That's Bella. I'll take you out the back. This garden area. Bar area, we hand built this out of all recycled material. Old uh, pitch roof, so you can see out in the stars in your spa. More garden lighting, of course. 
So yeah, we'll uh, take you out to the office. So basically I run my business from home. Lighting comes on. I'm an electrical contractor. I've got three or four staff working for me. Come into here, should be all automated lighting. There's my work truck. Here's our shed, so the boys come here every morning, get all the parts for the jobs, get all the details. Me and Damien work in the office. Here's the office here. Yeah, oh, here it is, the old uh, family trees up going on here. So it give you a bit of a description of how we fit into the situation. So obviously, three years ago I'd done a DNA test and I got a match to, I think it was Leanne, Leanne Claire Noon's son, not named in this. Um, contacted Damien Loon, wasn't very helpful, didn't really give too much information to the piece of the puzzle. They only come up as third or fourth cousins, so it was really hard to track where we were. Um, and obviously, yeah, Brittany this week, done a DNA test, obviously, the last couple of weeks. I got an email Tuesday night, just wrapping up some emails and planning for the next day. And then, yeah, got an email saying you've got a first cousin, which is obviously very close. So, yeah, I was pretty excited. I fell off my chair, to be honest. Um, yeah, so my auntie in the background is right into this family tree stuff, so I haven't really built any of this. She's done all the hard work. Um, and it just started from an article that um, Leanne Claire Noon's son, when she, Loon, sorry, done a, when he'd done a DNA test, um, he didn't put his parents' name, but he put his grandparents' name, and my auntie basically tracked from their name and built this tree. So down here, and if you can see that, that's literally the size of the tree. It's pretty big. There's about 300 members on it now, currently. Um, so, yeah basically to give you a bit of history how I fit into the picture just make sure you can see there so this is Brittany's DNA test so anything with a squiggle here is basically the DNA tracking so Brittany's done a test that's come up Shauna O'Brien now obviously one of seven siblings in here um, so we, me and Brittany got a match of 99% to first cousin so when I spoke to my auntie and we had 860 centigram links, which is pretty high. Um, basically, that confirmed that Shauna's biological brothers, full brothers, would have to be my father. But this just gives you a description here of how the DNA works. So it goes from Brittany, Shauna, up to Fiona Pierce. Obviously, all these colours here are how I fit in. So Fiona Pierce is one of one, two, three, four, five, six siblings and that's how the Pierce, Francis Pierce, is linked to the loons. That's how I got my first DNA hit and started discovering this family. If you go on to Fiona Pierce, she is a descendant of Celicia Ann Kennedy. So the Kennedy side comes from Ange, Ange Jones, 1873 to 1954. Um, and obviously these are the DNA hits here and they just keep going back. So Jones was from Alan Jones back there and it just keeps going up and up back to 1810, I think. So a lot of this information is, um, found by my auntie via, you know, newspaper clippings, electoral rolls and that. So there is a lot of information and names on it that may be not correct. Um, and that's where we take other new members we have found in the family and get us to help editing this. Um, yeah, so obviously Brittany is the last piece of the puzzle for me to um, find my father. So happy days. Now, this is the office. Basically, this shed is set up to be a fully self-contained flat, but it's currently the man cave. I'm in the middle of renovating here. Brand new bathroom going in, tiling. This is my music room, so I've got all my drums, guitars, bass guitars, amps, all my DJ equipment, drumming. There's a lot of art I've done here, hand, hand painted by me with uh, Biggie Smalls. So yeah, that's that's the man cave. That's where I go and hang out. Office. Yeah, so that's a little bit about me. So yeah, looking forward to catching up with everyone. Ciao.